All right, SLBs. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna do some night fishing tonight. We got this light above us, thank God. Maybe you can see me a little bit. I don't know how much, but maybe a little. But uh, we're at Oakford Lake Spillway here. This is the lake over here, and it spills down. This is Crosswicks Creek. There's catfish, there's carp, there's bass. There's all sorts of stuff in here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try for some bass at night. Uh, I'm gonna set up for catfish and maybe even some carp. I've never caught carp before, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't even know if they bite at night, but we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna get everything set up and we'll get to it. All right, guys, this is a catfish rod. I got a uh, three quarter ounce egg sinker, barrel swivel, and a fluorocarbon leader with a two watt circle hook and a chunk of hot dog. I'm gonna use a bait caster for this one. All right. So I'm gonna check this out. And I'm loosening up the drag a little bit so we can pull some out if it wants. Put it in this handy dandy pole holder that's right here. And hopefully I'll get some. All right, here's my carp pole. It's like a, essentially same rig, just a much smaller hook and some corn that has vanilla extract on it. All right. Let's see what happens there. Hopefully we'll get some. All right, so these things are just, uh, Cornmeal, vanilla extract, and uh, water. Made them into like dough balls. My buddy told me about this, and supposedly you can throw them in the water, they'll attract carp. So I'm gonna throw them around. I made four of them. We'll see if they work. All right, well, I'm waiting to see if anything happens with those poles. I'm gonna cast around this movement 80 wake, see if I can catch anything. Guys, change out the movement 80 weight to the whopper plopper. Hopefully, you know, it makes a lot of noise and all that. Hopefully, something will come up and grab it. Can't even see where it is. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. All right, let's see if you guys can see this. Leah found it. She's kind of freaking out. But take a look at this spider over here. You see him? So big. So crazy. He's a giant. We'll get a good picture of him. Big old wolf spider. All right, guys. Made a move to the other side of the bridge. The, like a slack, more of a slack pocket over here. So hopefully stuff will be hanging out in it. Set that in the holder over here. It's the carp pole. All right, guys, now the catfish pole with a hunk of hot dog. I'm gonna try to cast it very lightly out. So the hot dog doesn't fall off. I think the hot dog's been falling off a lot. Wow, it's way deeper right there than I thought it was. Holy crap. Alright, trying to plop her a little bit on this side. Oh, I think we might be hooked up. Oh, damn it. I think, I think we were hooked up there for a second, guys. And maybe that's a log. I don't know. I'm about to look. It's like I got excited for a minute about a damn stick. Felt good, though. Huh? It felt good, though. Well, I don't know if you guys saw what happened there, but, you know, I uh, got this thing all caught up I, in a tree, pulled it out of the tree, and I, I hooked myself in the ass. It came flying back. Thank God it didn't actually hook my ass. It just hooked, hooked the ass in my pants. All 
All right, SLBs, I hope you can see me. Um, we spent a couple hours out here, but it, it's it's humid, it's hot, it's uh, a little buggy. Uh, well, it's a little too buggy for Leah. Um, but we spent a couple hours, we didn't get a damn bite. Um, we tried the corn for the carp. Uh, all I had for the uh, catfish was hot dogs. And uh, nothing, nothing at all. Um, also tried a bunch of stuff for some bass, but uh, Nothing was biting, but I didn't get here till uh, it was plenty dark already. If you like these kind of uh, night fishing, going for catfish videos, hit that like button. Drop a comment. Tell me your favorite catfishing spot. Subscribe. You can see all my new stuff coming out. Till next time, guys. Peace.